Premier of Western Australia, Colin Barnett. Well, good morning. Can I thank all of you? It's uh, fantastic to see uh, what I would think is probably about 300 people here and uh, to come out and take part in this community event is very much appreciated. Uh, first, can I, uh, I'd like to uh, acknowledge Mike. Um, uh, as Mike said, we uh, have been friends and we've known each other from a, a long, long time ago. Mike was a far better economist than I was, but I could explain it better than Mike. <laughs> But Mike, thanks for putting on this event and thank you all for coming and uh, you can ask any question you want and I'll choose whether I answer it. Uh, <laughs> and if it's a really hard one, I'll give it to Mike. Yeah. What about the long-term plans for the uh, freeway system and the, the trains? Is such a bottleneck. Transport um, is, is, is always there as an issue, but I, I think everyone's noticed in the last perhaps two to three years that the congestion on roads, particularly the freeways, has has just increased dramatically. It's almost like you get to a, a tipping point. I might add, just, just to add to that, we, the government has progressed the uh, planning for row eight, or row uh, highway extension, uh, and that's the, has done all the planning and basic work is with the EPA, and that will take a, a large amount of trucks, not off on a leach highway, but also out of that bottleneck area of Quinana. You touched on the business of the uh, Fiona Stanley Hospital. Now, if you do privatise these hospitals, what guarantee can you make? Uh, look, there has been a lot of, to be blunt, political activity about the Fiona Stanley Hospital. Uh, as I said previously, this is going to be the absolute standout hospital, not only in this state, but in Australia, in terms of the science and the technology uh, and the design and the scale of it. It will employ uh, several thousand people on that site. It's going to be a major centre of employment. Now, can I say absolutely categorically, the Fiona Stanley Hospital is not being privatised. You are being told a lie by the brochures that have been put into letterboxes, and I've seen some of them. Uh, it is not being privatised. It is a government, a state government-owned hospital where all the doctors, all the nurses will be state government employees. The hospital, every, every brick of it, uh, every tube, uh, every bit of equipment will be owned by the West Australian Government and it will be run by the West Australian Government with state government employees. Can, can I just add to that in that, you know, in, in our West Australian system, we've contracted out uh, a lot of services from hospitals. Uh, look at the ambulance service. Look at the silver chain nurses that do hospice care in houses attached to the, coming from the um, hospitals. The computing system, this is nothing new. This is nothing new. Indeed, the contracting out of the activities for the Fiona Stanley, our ancillary stuff, that's, that's budgeted to save the state $500 million over the uh, next 20 years, all of which will be poured back into the running of the Fiona Stanley Hospital. We would actually be remiss if we didn't do this. It is publicly owned, publicly run, in a public facility, and it will, it will remain there uh, for the forever. On behalf of Ross Wayne Senior High School, I would like to thank you for the wonderful new buildings currently being built at our school. They will make a world of difference in, to students and their ability to learn. I hope that the next year at Ross Moyne shall mark the beginning of the new use of these new and improved learning areas and we look forward to the government funding the next stages of the building development so all students will have the same learning environment. Thank you. I, I don't think I've... Um, <laughs> that's the most polite and courteous lobby I've ever received, so <laughs> well done. And, and look, I think Ross Moyne and Williton are, are two just outstanding high schools. And as Mike was saying, Williton's a very big school, a huge school in the system. Uh, Ross Moyne now, for probably 15 or 20 years, uh, just continually gets outstanding results. So I mean, I'm glad that the students of Ross Moyne appreciate your new buildings, because they are fantastic. And you should thank Mike, because uh, he's a hard man to say no to. Colin, uh, Gary Anderson, Principal of Limwood Senior High. The only high school that hasn't been mentioned so far. Okay, my apologies. <laughs> Another great school. <laughs> well, schools that were built in the 70s that are really are struggling now. Um, playing services that are certainly in a state of dilapidation. I guess really the question is we need some transparency on the future with regard to upgrades in schools 
without it being a wish list and a lottery? Uh, okay, look, I, um, I'm trying to think uh, if I've been to Linwood uh, when I was Education Minister. I think I probably did. But what I'll uh, undertake is to come out to the school and have a look. Okay? I'll come and have a look at the school because I, I haven't got it in my mind yet. Okay? Can, can I just say um, thank you very much for coming along this morning. It's, um, I've enjoyed it. I hope you have. Yeah.